Hi traders! In today's video, I am going to talk about how I passed the prop firm challenge in seven days. First, I want to announce that it will be a whole video series about prop firm trading. How you can succeed in the challenges, how you can maintain trading at a prop firm, and everything about this topic. If you have any questions, first you have to subscribe to my channel. Then you can write a comment. This how it works. I don't know why. So ask me anything about this topic because I am planning to make a video series about prop trading and I want to talk about everything that you are interested in in this topic. Now, Let's start. First, I want to tell you that I took this prop firm challenge because I was thinking about it and, you know, one day I woke up and I looked in the mirror and I was thinking about my life and I realized that, man, I haven't done any challenge for my dear viewers for a long time. And I know that prop trading now is a hot topic, so I... I just figured out why not just take a challenge right now and um, make some YouTube videos about it. Now, I didn't really know that I will do this challenge and pass this challenge in just seven days. So I planned to make many videos about the whole process when I pass the challenge. But when I wanted to start to make the videos about the challenge, I already passed it. So now I will talk about how I passed the challenge and how I will manage this account. And uh, I will make all kinds of videos about this uh, account that I will manage at the pro firm because I think it's quite interesting and I see that many traders are interested in this topic. Now I will share my thought process, how I approached this challenge as a problem solving opportunity this is a you know just just a cookie so um i have a, yeah I have a pocket now first of all i started this challenge with the thoughts of this saying from einstein and this is everything should be made as simple as possible but not simpler now this is a very good saying for the markets because you should make your strategies as simple as possible, but not simpler. So you shouldn't make dumb strategies, but you should make your strategies as simple as possible. Now, I don't know if you understand the importance of this saying, but I kept it in my mind the entire process how I passed this challenge in just seven days. First, because I will tell you five tips. First, I coded the strategy. So I sketched a pretty simple strategy to a piece of paper and I coded it and I tested it with 99.9% the tick data and it turned out it is not that good for this challenge because the drawdown was higher what was allowed in this challenge and what i needed was below six percent drawdown and below one and a half percent stop loss uh, because i like low risk in general so i tweaked it a little bit and I added some money management functions to it to comply with the drawdown. And then I just um, run the test and it was good enough. So I thought, why not just trade this strategy on this challenge account and let's see how it is working. I didn't know that I will pass the challenge in seven days because in my opinion, this is a pretty short time to get funded 
and I don't want to tell people that it is a normal amount of time. It also involves luck and stuff, but mostly, I would say, money management is the key. And so first I coded the strategy and I tested it. Of course, if you are not a coder, there are some other opportunities to test your, to backtest your strategy. And in my recommendation, if you are preparing yourself for a challenge, test your strategy from one to five years and make sure that it has the drawdown that you want and the profit uh, percentage that you want that is good for your challenge. My first rule was that the strategy has to have at least one to one risk to reward ratio. Now, it is pretty important because if you have a bad risk to reward ratio that is lower, it is smaller than one to one, you won't, in my opinion, you won't be able to um, achieve the target with the low uh, maximum drawdown because at some point you can encounter a pretty big drawdown and that will delay your um, you to pass the challenge uh, for even months. And of course, there is not no, no problem with that because uh, in this challenge, you have six months to pass um, the uh, target, but it is much better to you know, just pass a challenge with a great money management system and don't just work, um, work for it for multiple months, uh, because you have a bad money management. The second thing was the dynamic exit. Of course, it is related to money management, but I have to tell you that when I tested the strategy without, um, dynamic exit, just with TP and stop loss, it was pretty bad. And of course I use um, dynamic, dynamic exit in all of my A. So it was, it was a no brainer to use dynamic exit for this challenge as well. But first I wanted to see how it would work with just TP and SL because I decided to trade my strategy that I coded into an EA manually to see if it is possible because most traders will um, pass these challenges manually and I pass this challenge as a challenge for my YouTube channel, for my viewers. So I wanted to do what the majority of traders will do. This is why I wanted just a TP and an SL because it's much easier to trade that way manually. But after that, I realized that if I want to make a good example out of this whole um, challenge, I have to use dynamic exit, of course, because it's just so much better to trade with that. Dynam what is a dynamic exit? It's basically a strategy for your exit um, of a trade um, because it is, you know, everybody is using an entry strategy because entry, the entry strategy is the, is the most uh, searched thing in forex trading. What is your strategy? But um, the exit strategy is kind of a thing that most people just use a uh, stop loss, take profit and ATR uh, stop loss and stuff, a basic, basic stuff. But if you are, if you are using an exit strategy, a dynamic exit that is just as complex or even more complex than your, than your entry strategy, you will be so much better than the other traders. And this matters because you are playing against other traders in the markets. And if you are better than them, you win. The third thing is you should write a trading journal when you start to trade. Um, I, in my opinion, you should always write a trading journal, not just uh, if you are trading at a pro firm or you want to pass a challenge. You should always write a trading journal because it will make you a much more disciplined trader. And in my opinion, most traders who uh, are always losing and uh, blowing their account, they are just not disciplined enough because they are always washed away by greed, by fear, 
and by their emotions. And so, if you write a trading journal, you will be kind of ashamed of yourself if you write down that, yeah, I just lost like, you know, a few hundred pips. And basically, how you, because um, in my opinion, you should write down why you, why you lost it, the trade. It can be just because it was a losing streak that is completely normal and you followed your strategy. But most of the time, when you lose big, you lose because you didn't follow your own strategy. And you should, and you, for yourself, you should write down that it was just because you didn't follow your strategy. And when you will uh, analyze your data in your journal, you will see that most of the time, why you are uh, unprofitable, it is because you didn't follow the strategy. And what does that mean? If you, if you would have been following your strategy, you would be profitable and a funded trader if that is your goal. So man, just, you know, write a journal and be a disciplined trader. That is key. The fourth thing is don't push yourself because if you are taking a challenge and you are pushing yourself beyond your limits, it sounds very good. But in trading, the issue is that at the end of the day, you will lose your entire account. And this is sometimes a tough thing even for me because I like to just push, your, push myself to the limit and stuff, you know. But if you want to be a trader, and if you want to pass these challenges with the minimal drawdown, you can't, you can't push yourself beyond your limits. And you can't, uh, you know, you have to consider it as a long-term game. At the end of the day, I had 0.81% um, maximal drawdown. And this was because I... Uh, when, when I wanted to, you know, do some crazy stuff, I, I told myself, no, 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 no. We want to make a good example out of this. This is a challenge. And how I started this challenge is that I wanted to prove that everybody can do it. And it is just a matter of good money management. It is not a difficult task. What is the, the most difficult part is you. <laughs> The, your emotions. Of course, this is why I always test my strategies because at the end of the day, I know if I follow my strategy, I will win. It is easier that way than if you, you know, don't test your strategies and you don't know the results, what you can expect. You just jump into the markets. You know, it is not the thing that Einstein would have done. This is completely unrelated to the topic, but since I started with an Einstein quote, why not? My, my fifth tip is that I see so many traders blow their accounts and don't pass these challenges because of these minor things. <laughs> and it is because they don't trade in their own pace. And this, this is so heartbreaking to see that they're, oh, they are always comparing themselves to other traders, like their growth and everything. And they, and they um, read all the success stories and everything uh, on the internet and uh, see their videos on YouTube. And it is, it is completely um, ruining their trading careers because they feel that they are not good enough and that's why they take too much risk on their accounts. And I see this so many times. I know it seems obvious, but they then... They trade with like four times the lot size they would trade normally and uh, they risk their entire account and you know it is a 50-50% chance that they, they will just blow their entire account at the first trade and um, then just complain about the uh, given firm or and it, you know, if it's their personal account the, about the markets and how they are rigged and how they are a scam and everything, it is not true, but you have to find an edge, your probability. And 
your money management system that is suitable for you personally and with that you will be able to trade profitably and pass these challenges now if you are interested in the technical stuff about more more into the technical stuff how i pass this challenge like more about the strategy the price action pattern that i used and uh, the results that i um that i have just um, comment below this video because i will read them and i will make a series about prop trading that is worth watching for all all uh, traders not just prop traders not just wannabe prop traders but uh, people who are managing their own funds and who want to be consistently profitable